Welcome to the show. Let's break it down. First, Kelly, then Ruben, then, of course, Fantasia. Who will be the next American Idol? Could they be hiding out here? The search continues in New Orleans. Trolley cars, Bourbon Street, the French Quarter, Mardi Gras. But before we get to party, we had to get over to the biggest building in town, the Louisiana Superdome, where 9,000 contestants were getting ready to rock the joint like it was nobody's Fat Tuesday. And when the party tricks began, we knew they had been inspired by this week's guest judge, none other than Gene Simmons, the tongue-wagging, blood-spurting, fire-breathing frontman of the heavy metal group KISS. How are you? Wanna rock and roll all night? Throughout the past three decades, Gene has performed for over 50 million screaming fans. So he should be able to teach these contestants about captivating an audience. Everything you've heard about the KISS years and the KISS stage shows and the spectacle is true. So what would happen to our contestants when the rocker with the world's longest tongue and the Brit with the world's sharpest tongue got together? What kind of a monster would we create? <laughs> oh. One of the first to find out was local boy David Brown. Dave, what's up, man? Hi, Dave. What's going down? Why, why do you want to do this? Come on, you don't need this trouble in your life. You know, <laughs> singers get picked on all the time. I follow my heart, and this is where my heart is right now. Really? Yes, sir. Okay, take your time and just give it to us. It's been too hard to live it, but I'm afraid to die. Cause I don't know what's up there. Beyond the skies, it's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Wow. Wow. That's the best I have heard since That's we've been doing this the fourth season. That was really. Really, <laughs> really good. Wow. You're, Great choice of song. You're really good. You're really good. Should we start with Simon first? 100 percent, yeah. And Miss Paula? You're a star. I love I everything agree. about you. I agree. Yep. Dude, she's right. The real ones, they don't need to do nothing but sing, man. And you did that. You got a natural gift. Dude, you blew it out. It, it looks like you've got a unanimous, you're going Hollywood. Yeah, baby. Welcome to Hollywood, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go out there and show and prove, dog. I'm going to Hollywood, baby. So it was a strong start for New Orleans. We'll catch up with David a little bit later in the show. You know, there are American Idol fans everywhere you go. Imagine being the biggest fan and then ending up in front of our judges. How do you think you'd feel? Well, much like Bobby Barfoot. There you go, bud. I'm Seacrest. I thought you were Clay Aiken. Not the first time that's happened. At least Bobby knows a good thing when he sees it. Looks like he's wearing one of my shirts. I have a huge obsession with American Idol. I've got all the books, everybody's cards, and I bring them along with me in case I see some more people trying out to get their autograph or whatever. But will he be signing his own card someday? Only the judges have the answer. I want to strum my guitar in here today. That's the life I love the best. Yeehaw. 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 That's not easy to do. You know, you have a real good voice. Where? <laughs> 
Come on. Simon, that was rude. Well, Come I on. wasn't being rude, Paula. Yes, you were being rude. He's not that bad, dude. Come on. Give me a chance, y'all, please. How could you say you're not being rude? Because it was like... When I say he has a good voice and you say He's a good where? voice in England. It was like a cross Paula. between a rodeo and a casual foal. It just... It, the whole okay. audition was terrible. You're not, you're not happy with his image. No, his voice. It's your, it's your image. It's more than that. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's your image. It's more than that. I can work on it. So can I ask, can I ask yeah, you to do something? Problem. I'd like you to go behind that screen and sing a song. To prove a point. Yeah, sing, just walk behind the screen. Sing something Stevie, something Usher. Sing something today on the charts. Okay, um, Bobby, this is Paula, obviously. Uh, what are you gonna sing for us? I'm gonna sing Lately by Stevie Wonder. You'll have to sing up a bit, Bobby. What are you gonna sing? Lately by Stevie Wonder. Got Lately, it. go for it. Well, I'm a man of many wishes. Hope my premonition misses. Yeah. But what I really feel, my eyes won't let me hide. Cause they always yeah. start to cry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Bobby, you, you can thank come, you. Back come back now. Oh, come on back, Bobby, please. That really worked. Okay, let me just say something. Let me the say image, something. Image, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I butt in? Can I butt in? Your image is not the problem. Can I butt in? It's your voice. It's what I was saying before. It was the wrong song you picked. It was very nasally, up in your nasal, too much vibrato. That kind of blew it for my decision. I'm so sorry. And I'm not saying Simon's right, but I'm just... Truth, you sing okay. I have to say uh, that I couldn't stand the country stuff. I'm a big country and western fan, but I gotta tell you, that stuff's gotta go. Oh, you guys have something in common. I, I don't, I don't buy it. I'm sorry, it's not. It's a no for me. All right, thanks a lot. Looks like Bobby isn't gonna need an extra slot in that binder for his own card. As he heads off to get condolences from complete strangers, we're taking a break. Coming up. Welcome back to New Orleans. This show is all about finding the truly unique, and there is a lot of weird stuff here in New Orleans, like the conjoined duck, then there's the flying squirrel, and of course the shrunken head. But when you find something that's different, what exactly do you do with it? Meet Darren Beck from Denton, Texas. Now, just by looking at him, we knew he was not your normal contestant. I'd like to be the next American Idol so I can change the music industry and make music less disposable. I think as far as the judges go, hopefully especially Gene Simmons will like me. Slow down, man. <laughs> you, you look tremendously different and unique already, which is a great thing. All right. Well, that's kind of what I'm going for. What are you going to sing for us? Uh, well, I was going to start out with Delilah by Tom Jones. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right, you ready? We're ready. I saw the light on the night that I passed by her window. I saw the flickering shadows of love on her blinds. She was my woman. And as she deceived me, I watched and went out of my mind. My killing me. Do you have another one? <laughs> yeah. I put a spell on you. Because <laughs> you're mine. Stop the things you do. <laughs> I love. I can't stand. No running around. I can't stand. Put me down. I put a spell on you. Cause you're mine. No, 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 no. Uh, well, you, you'd be very good in a, in a sort of a strange, obscure cabaret club. Thank you. But it wasn't really a compliment. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I'm glad he said thank you because. That's true, though. It's true. You, ever, you should yeah. see some of the dives I play. 
Yeah, but, but that's you. You know, I mean, you should be wearing huh? ladies' underwear, red lipstick, and a cabaret. Cap. What? Ladies' underwear? Yes. What? You know, there are people who sing much, much worse than you who are not as exciting. The reason you don't belong here is not because you're not peculiar. And peculiar, by the way, is a good way to make a living. I'm peculiar, okay? But the rest of the people come here and they belt it out. They really sing and have range. That's not what you've got, but you do have something they don't, which is personality. But I'm gonna say no. Yeah, it's definitely no, dude. It's, it's not right for this. Well, thank you. Thank you. Peace, man. <laughs> they said I belong in a cabaret, a very small, dark cabaret, and they said something about I should wear panties and red lipstick. I think they've seen my act. <laughs> I'm sure the Brit has. Let's meet someone who looks an awful lot better in ladies' underwear and lipstick, Lindsay Cardinelli. My name is Lindsay Cardinelli. I'm 19 years old from Ponchatoula, Louisiana, and I will be your next American Idol. Hello, Lindsay. Hello. How are you? I am doing great. How are y'all? We're very good. So what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing Standing Right Next to Me. All right, go for it. Love is like the wind Sometimes it blows your way And until now It missed me somehow But when I turned around I saw you standing the sound of your voice, I have no choice. Okay. Thank you. Jean, what do you say? I like her a lot. You give a very positive attitude. Thank you. Impression, rather. Feels good. Paula? You have a very interesting voice. To me, mm. it's very unique. Thank you. It's hypnotic to me. I mean, Thank it's you. very pure. Thank you. You're very beautiful. Much. I say absolutely yes. Thank you Carl? very much. Without question, one of the best we've had in today. And it's very refreshing nice. to hear an audition like that. So day. obviously you say, uh-huh. Oh, you 100%. say yes, you say yes. Come on. We're going to Hollywood! Welcome to Hollywood, girls! <laughs> Hollywood, here we go! With Lindsay on her way to the Hollywood auditions, Let's meet someone more accustomed to Hollywood movies. Not starring in them, but showing them in his local theater, projectionist Robert Solomon. Hey. What's hey. going down, Robert? I'm here. It's good. Are you ready for us? I'm ready for you, but are you ready for me? That's oh, the question. I don't know, man. I don't know. Are you a gymnast? Uh, no, I'm not a gymnast. But I was in a play and... Why are you laughing at that? Why did you ask that? Because of his outfit. He looks like a gymnast. No, he That's doesn't. That's not a gymnast outfit. Well, he's got sneakers on. I mean, I get it. It's the t-shirt. God. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, a t-shirt, gymnast. He... All right, now tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm a projectionist at a movie theater, 24plex. So I spend a lot of time alone, which allows me to work on my singing or reading. Or... So I've, you know, bellowed in the projection booth a few times. All right, go for it. Oh, we need is music, sweet music. There'll be music everywhere. There'll be singing, swaying, and records playing, and dancing in the street. Whoa, it doesn't matter what you wear, just as long as you are there. So come on, every guy, grab a girl everywhere around the world. It's an interesting stop of motion there. Excuse me? I don't know, you look a little like a... You should stop now. <laughs> mm. Well, I don't know why. Thanks, Robert. Okay. Thank other way, other way. way. It's this way. As Robert trudged back to his projection booth, the judges worried that the likes of David... I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> ...and Lindsay were in short supply. But there, welcome back to American Idol. We are still cruising through New Orleans. Next up, the audition rooms. Just two people are through from Randy's home state, but he's putting on a brave face. I don't wanna lose your love. Mm. <laughs> we will live as one for all eternity. 
T. Nobody's supposed to be here. Including us after that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on one horse open sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's some hope from this lean contender. Ten-foot-tall accountant, Sundeep Akrija. He showed signs of real promise as his colleagues around the corner told our cameras. When we dress up for Halloween, Sundeep dresses up for Halloween. Would you like me to tell you what he was the last time he dressed up? He was a punk. No, that's not it. He was a pimp. Excuse me. I bring a lot of energy to the table, and I'm very passionate about anything I do. The accounting environment is a very quiet environment, whereas in the performance environment, I think I can uh, bring it to the table. He sang for us a couple times yesterday, but I think he was nervous and uh, a little scared, but he sounded pretty good, and I don't know anything about singing talent. Hello. Hi, Sonny. Uh, Come on up to the tea. Doing pretty good. Wow, you're tall. Cool. What are you going to sing for us today? I would like to sing Eye of the Tiger from the Rocky soundtrack. Oh, oh we cool. haven't heard that. Okay. I just get a chance to breathe. <sighs> Rising up back on the street, did my time, took my chances. Went the distance, now I'm back on my feet. Just a man and his will to survive. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rival. When the last known survivor stalks his prey in the night and he's watching us all with the eye of the tiger. That was really interesting. Wow. I don't even know where to begin. I, honestly, do you watch the show? Have you watched the show? I do watch the show, Fantasia Verena, I know. Did you have the volume up? <laughs> um, How do you think you did? Well, I think I got the lyrics. The lyrics were on key. To a couple, to one. You got the words words. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. the words right, yeah. Right, did get the words right. You got the words right. Sandeep, the calculator beckons, it's a note. All right. Thank, Thank you. Uh, the voice was in uh, one tone. I needed to kind of mix it up with the tone, so... Sorry. Kenny, can we just take a five-minute bathroom break? Well, the judges needed a break, so we took the chance to get out of the audition room and learn a little local history, courtesy of contestant Michael Luisa. Here we are on Bourbon Street on the corner of Bourbon and Toulouse, where my mother and father performed before they met each other. You see, my mother was a singer at the 601 on this address right here at the corner. My father was at the 544 in this corner. My mother got in an argument and quit the band, walked across the street and said, I need a job. Well, my father was the piano player and he fell in love. But financially, they had to realize that it's gonna take time to raise a child. You need to leave everything else behind. And they did it unselfishly. And to have that love, it's almost like I owe them something. If Michael gets to perform in front of the whole country, I think it would be electrifying to me. And the same thing for me, it would be like, he did what we couldn't do. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you, honey. So after some prune juice, the judges settled back in, ready for Michael's big moment. Michael, come on in, baby. Hello, how's it going? Hey, Michael. So, so listen, dude, tell me, are you the next American Idol? I am the next American Idol. You are, yes. why? Well, the world's an evil place. You got a lot of bad people. I'd like to give some good love around, you know? I hear you. All right, dude, so what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing, Do You Know What It Means to Miss New Orleans? And it's, uh, I'm going to take the rendition from Louis Armstrong. Right, right. It's something uh, my grandmother taught me initially. All right, go for it. Sure. Do you know what it means to Miss New Orleans? To miss her each night and day. I know I'm not wrong, but the feeling's getting stronger the longer I stay away. I miss the moss on the vine, the tall sugar pine, where mockingbirds used to sing. Lord, I'd like to see. That old lazy Mississippi uh, hurrying into spring. 
Aww. Beautiful, man. Really beautiful. Nice. That's I haven't beautiful. heard that song in a long time. Great, 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 great. Simon, what do you think, man? I, I honest to God, uh, Randy, I don't know what to say. That's excellent. Thank you very much. I appreciate the compliment. Wow. I have to say, it reminds me more of the female singers from the early 50s, the Rosemary Clooney. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's why I like it. It's a great kind of music that isn't happening. It, uh -huh. It's one of my favorite yes. kinds of music. It's good hearted. But is this really an act? No, but here's the deal, man. We all talk about different and unique. This he's guy's he's different, and, different unique. and unique. Randy, yes or no? Dude, yes, 100% for me, man. Thank you. 100%. Gene? I really like you. I, I have to say no. Okay. Gotta work on the image. Okay. You need to pack up some clothes and have fun. I think you're truly unique and truly talented, uh, just, yes. He, yeah, okay, that's... You want to, you know what, you take the joy out of me having no, fun because and showing love. I've used this analogy before, it's like Antiques not, Roadshow, you know, when they're describing the history up. of the piece. All they're thinking is, how much is it worth? Can yeah. I ask you a question? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Would you, you know rather I mean? hear my opinion of how joyful and how happy you've made me? Or would you rather, rather get straight him? to the yes? Well, it's the honesty that I appreciate, so if you're both honest, I appreciate it Thank equally. Thank you. Sure. Look, I, I, if I'm honest with you, Michael, I'm more with Gene on this. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to give you one more chance. Well, thank you very much. Thank God. Thank you. Let's just see what happens. I Welcome to Hollywood, baby. I appreciate it. Work okay. it out. Work okay. it out. You are, you are so obnoxious no, today. Oh, no, hit him. Hit him. Paula, hit him. You are yes, so wrong. Paula, hit him. They don't want any advice. No, they just want to be a solo. Who needs to be here? Oh. Good news for Michael. But how long can Paula stand it next to Cal in there? Tensions had been building all day. I'm gonna tell you something. We're on a short schedule. You go first while I'm still trying to figure and articulate what I'm trying to say. Oh, Lord. You're a jerk. Coming up, enough is enough. American Idol brings you The Incomprehensibles, starring Sandhun Ginath Mendes. Miser, miser, of empty spacers between us. A telephone can take a place of your smile. Tomomi Tamura sings the national anthem. Oh, say, can't you see? By the dawn, early lie. What so proud we we hey at the twilight last gloomy. Oh, gleamy. But when it comes to being incomprehensible, one man stands alone. Tommy, I you need to get caught. You need to cut everything chop and get caught your body and do that. Leroy Wells. Yeah, you dig it. <laughs> it's this way, right here, baby. Yeah, come on up. Where you going, dog? Oh, no, Chelsea's hate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. So that Michael Jay's out to that. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, baby, I got your money. Don't you worry. Hey, hey, can you do it? Wait, wait, slow down, slow down, slow down. Why don't you introduce us? What's your name? <laughs> okay, my name is Leroy Williams. And uh, I say I'm playing the paint for a living at the ship, yo, with my dad. What? <laughs> Wait, Leroy, you got you got to start again. Yeah. I sand blaze the paint. Sand blast the paint. Yes, sir. What? what? Sand blast the oh, paint. It's what? It's shrimp boat. Sand it's about a bench. You know what about a bench? It, it, uh, it's a shrimp boat. It's, it's real slow, boat. like. <laughs> it's country, and we we ain't making no money, so y'all need to put me on TV. Can you dig it? We yeah, can yeah, dig yeah. it. But wait a minute, dog, uh, dog. Uh, 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 Wait, come back. Dog, dog. So, so uh, you... I play the drums, the keyboard, anything. I'm a musician, you feel me? You're but musician. see, I got to tag, get y'all crunk so y'all can feel me. Yo, man, but we need to get crunk no like idea. that. No idea. Look, look, see. Uh... White teeth. 
Why? You got your crunk. Put your crunk here. Look at that. nigga that hit that crunk. Oh, those aren't your teeth. Oh, he got his crunk down. One, two, three. Here we go. Here we go. I can't take it anymore. Now, nah, can you dig it? And then I'm say, thank you, Jesus. Because you got to put Jesus first. If no. you don't, you ain't going to do nothing. Tell Simon Kyle he's got to put Jesus first. Simon, you don't put Jesus first. No, Simon's over here. Wait. He's right there. You don't put Jesus first. Something wrong with you. Now, nah, can you dig it? <laughs> Sing some question, else, Randy. In America, do you have a button that puts subtitles on? <laughs> do you? Can you spin my cut? See y'all ain't like this. This guy needs a subtitle. Yo, dog, but can you sing? I can sing. It's, it's crunk. It's just gonna be crunk. You just gonna do that? Wait, 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 wait. But sing something. This then. is a singing competition, honey. I told you Allegedly. what I was singing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, but a different song. A real, a real song. James Brown. Anything. I feel good. I knew that I would. So good. So good. And I got you. Hey! I got it. Hey, so good. So good. So good. I got it. You're a stepper, man. You're a stepper. You're a stomper, huh? Yeah, but I'm trying to make you feel what I'm talking about. I feel you, man. We're feeling you, though. Can you dig it? Yes. Yeah, yeah we can dig it, baby. Look at Simon. He's right here with you. Simon, you need to get caught. You need to cut it. Everything chop and get caught your bottom here and do that. I, yeah. I, I agree. Can you imagine if Simon had the crunk teeth like that? If Simon yeah, was crunk. take him out. Look, hey, this is for the TV, and this is for your mommy and daddy. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. I got mine together now. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, it, it, you ain't right for this, man. But listen, we, lo we love you, man. The energy. He's the hype man. I mean, you the ultimate hype you, man, you are dog. so entertaining and energetic and fun. But you know <laughs> this isn't the right competition. But me. see, that's why I'm on TV right now, so y'all gonna put me on. Can I tell you something? You are definitely gonna be on TV. You definitely gonna be on TV, I know, man. See, that's the thing. I want to be in Hollywood. I go to Hollywood, Jake? I should not be all the shine. Leroy, and see, y'all don't want me to go to Hollywood, because y'all know I'm going to take over. Yeah, you're going to turn off. Hollywood out. And you know that. Leroy. So, do what you do. Leroy. It's all good. Planet Earth calling okay. Leroy. <laughs> Leroy, you really can't get a good assessment of what you do until you listen to Simon. Oh. What? The winner of the show gets to go on the Jay Leno show the following day. I'd love to be in their office <laughs> planning that interview. Uh, it's just ridiculous. In a, in a good I mean, way. I did, I did not a understand way, a word you said. It's all good. Let me know what's the deal. Am I in it? Am I not? So I can go back home and go to work before my dad. No. Okay, daddy. I respect no, that. No, man. Appreciate you, dog. Thank you. Y'all like to say it for me. Can you dig? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, we can dig it, baby. Keep it crunk, baby. Keep crunk in your life. It's going to stay crunk, boy. Go ahead. OB. They shut it down and say I'm too crunk for him, but I ain't studying no saying. See that he see me on TV, and see, I got a lot of this fuck. I told him I'm time, and we gonna do a big. Now, whoever listening, and y'all let Simon pump me out on TV, and it ain't going down. So whoever, you see me, you know I'm a million dollars, and I'm, I'm gonna have my money to Simon, he know that, because they hate. Don't hate on the player, hate the game. Now, can you dig? Yes, dude, yes, we dig it. Welcome to American Idol Gone Wild. This town is debauched. I've seen things here that would make my hair stand on end without the product. Hardly the place for a clean living young man like Jeffrey Johnson. My name is Jeff Johnson. I'm 27 from Dallas, Texas, and I'm in the ministry and lead praise and worship for a living. Coming here the first time, it's been kind of a shock just going down Bourbon Street and seeing drag queens and strip clubs and everything else. So it's definitely new to me. I've prayed a lot over American Idol. If you want us to go to Hollywood, let that happen, and we just hope that everything goes great today, Father, and just be with us. Uh, in your name we pray, amen. 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 Hollywood. Hi, Jeffrey What's up, man? Johnson. Hi. You chilling? You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, so what are you going to sing, man? In the still of the night. It's one of Simon's favorites. Let's hear that. In the still of the night. I held you, I held you tight. Oh, I love, love you so. 
promise I'll never let you go in the steel of the night. Okay, nice. Thank you. Uh, Gene, what do you think, man? I think you're a country artist, and I'll tell you why. If you sing pop lyrics, you're going to have a problem with your ministry. Mm -hmm. Because rock and roll, by definition, and popular music is about sexuality. And, that's and a demons. Big, and demons. <laughs> and that's a big word and like... And long tongues. <laughs> <laughs> and the rules are different for country. You can sing Christian-oriented lyrics and be acceptable. And you can sell millions of records just the way you do in pop music. I, I think you could be convincing as a country artist. Paula? I think you're really good. I think you have a very nice voice, and I think that you need to find your direction and go with it. Colin? Public will love this guy. They'll love him. Yes or no, Simon? Yes. Paula. Yes. Gene? No. <laughs> well, guess what? It's up to me. I say yes. Welcome to Hollywood, baby. Yeah, yeah work it out. Work it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not go this solid. way, man. This solid way, dog. With your, with your style. What? <laughs> The tide was finally turning in the French Quarter as our venue echoed to the screams of more winners. Now, while they were busy shouting, I snuck away to catch up with our first winner and Randy's favorite, David Brown. Our guy, David, here has some great news for all of you. Go ahead and tell him, man. I made it to the next level of American Idols. We're going to Hollywood. Close eye on David's progress in Hollywood. Over the seasons on American Idol, we've seen more than our fair share of twins. Some good. Oh, I never felt this way. Some not so good. Listen, baby, ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low. Which raises the question: as an identical twin, do you stand half the chance of making it to Hollywood? Holy Unfortunately, you both doubled the pain. As the holding room thinned out at the end of the day in New Orleans, four brothers, the Jeffersons and the Malfettas, waited to find out. First in, Lamar and Jamar, dressed and behaved like a true double act. I got nothing but love for you, baby. I got nothing but love. I got nothing but love. I got nothing but love for you, So much love. I got nothing but love. Girl, I for got you, nothing baby. but love, babe. Now, according to Simon. They're very good, these guys. You are people we would remember. And even Gene. You've got that certain, I don't know how to put it into words. <laughs> Sing a chain, yeah. man. The Jesus identical Jesus Jefferson Jesus twins were money. I say take because both of them. Get a man a cookie. Congratulations, you're going to Hollywood. Love that name, yes. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah. Alternatively, JP and Richard Mofetta had a game plan that was different. Personally, we haven't dressed identically, I think, since we're four years old. And part of us, I mean, certain people do it, and I understand that. It's To us, it's a little hokey. Well, that's the problem with twins. You always get stereotyped as a gimmick or something. I mean, if one of us makes it, obviously the other one's going to be disappointed. But what are you going to do? No, I just, I, I would be furious. I mean, at this, at this point in the game, for, for us not to get through to Hollywood, I can't see that happening. Okay, twins? Yes. No. yes. Oh, God. You... <laughs> you are? Rich. You are? JP. We'll hear you sing together. Okay. Okay. We're gonna celebrate mm -hmm. all through the night. Pour the wine, light the fire, girl, your wish is my command I submit to your demands I will do anything Girl, you need only and I'll make love to you Like you want me to Okay, thank you very much. Oh, I want to hear more. Well, you can go outside later on, Don. Do you mind singing to her later on? Later on, Paula. Later on, Paula. Oh, Paula. Oh, time. As long as you want. Okay, Randy. Uh, you guys can both sing, man. It's just funny that you sang boys to men songs. Mm. You guys can definitely yeah, both sing. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Gene? You know, the, the oozy, oozy kind of white boy thing really helps when you're a teenager because everybody, the girls swoon and stuff. 
you're getting to that age where it's becoming, in my opinion, too old to sing this kind of material. That's the biggest problem for me. Paula? I understand why you pick voice men, because melodically, yeah. it's there, and it's in your range, and it shows your talent. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Paula. Carl? I think if the guys had come in individually and sung, we wouldn't be that interested. Randy, me, yes or Me that? too. I say yes, man. I think you both can sing, and I'll say it again. I'm going to say it all day, and I need to say it, I think, every time. It's a singing competition. Thanks, Randy. Gee. Yes. You guys are very talented, but I got to give you a no. Of course, of course, you know I'm saying yes and yes. I think Thank that you, you guys got to continue to put great songs, and you're going to be fine. A I yes say. from Paula and Randy, and no from Gene. Oh, I've worked with Paula and Randy a long time. I'm going to go with Gene. I'm afraid it's a no. I can't believe it. That's a no. I can't believe it. I don't think individually you're good enough. I disagree. Wow. And, and if you were to put me on the line and make me feel honest about having to pick one, I would pick one. I think one is definitely better than the other, yeah. Well, then maybe let's pick one and not two. Can I just ask you to stand to the right for a okay. second? Do you mind? Okay, well, let's start with Richard. Randy, yes or no? I said yes before. I'll say yes again. Jean? No. Paula? No. It's a no. You are excellent. Randy? I said yes before, I'll say yes again. Gene? No. Paula? Absolutely yes. No. <laughs> well. What is this? What did we just do? Well, we've just, we've just gone through them individually. <laughs> Did that for the sport of it. I did not do it through the sport of it. <laughs> you know, this is where you just do it. Do it now, Chuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye. We're, yeah, we're, we're out. What, what was that? Because I was I don't get it. What's that? You know, I just don't get it. I mean, I heard, yeah, I've heard plenty of cats that got through singing stuff that you know, can't hold my jock singing, but. Sorry, guys. Nope. We came separate, dressed differently. You know, when I'm trying to you know, bubble gum it out. And we wanted to enter the competition as solo artists, you know, and then everybody pairs us together. And the bottom line is <laughs> sure it is. Whoa. And their anger continued to build as they walked towards our confessional. I get to tell everybody I got job ripped off. <laughs> Mash it back. No, 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 no. We've we been paired together. Might as well shoot on it. Hold on, I need to talk to you first. It looked like cooler heads could prevail. Just one final thought before they went. I just think this They were still fuming as they left the building, but I've got a feeling we'll see the Molfetta brothers again. But will we ever see Randy and Paula again? And what was the deal with New Orleans? Only 16 people made it through. Welcome to Hollywood. The lowest so far. Oh, God! Tomorrow night, we hope for better luck as the road ahead leads us to Vegas with Kenny Loggins as a guest judge. Uh-oh. Sin City deals the judges a string of jokers and a showgirl shows us the ropes. We're not showgirls, we're sirens. Plus, a determined Malfetta brother returns with a vengeance. I am the next American Idol. Yeah, and so do Randy and Paula, but there's little harmony between the judges. Shut up! I'm just reinforcing your point. Yes. Yeah, Shut up! I'm just reinforcing the point. Of course, we were ready for the Elvis impersonators. Well, since my baby left me, one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, now go, can't go. But a tribute to Neil Diamond? Las Vegas, Nevada, with Neil Diamond. Yeah! Will what happens in Vegas stay in Vegas, or will it move on to Hollywood? Viva! Viva! <laughs> Las Vegas! See you tomorrow night. 8, 7 Central, Seacrest, out.